Ever wondered if you can legally tie an alligator to a fire hydrant in Michigan? Well, stick around to find out. We're about to embark on a whimsical journey through some of the most bizarre laws in the United States. From prohibitions on whaling in landlocked states to strict regulations on stinky cheese, we've got you covered. It's going to be a wild ride filled with chuckles, gasps and plenty of really moments. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the world of the strangest laws in the United States. Starting us off at number 10, it's illegal to hunt whales in, wait for it, Oklahoma. Yes, you heard that right, Oklahoma. The landlocked state with not a coastline in sight. Now, you may be wondering how such a law came to be. Well, it's believed to be a result of a mix-up in the state's lawmaking process. A law intended to protect endangered species was written so broadly that it included all animals, even those that couldn't possibly be found in Oklahoma, like whales. Picture this. You're cruising down the Oklahoma plains, you spot a whale in a wheat field, and you think to yourself, this is my chance, my Moby Dick moment, but alas, you'd be breaking the law. It's a strange world we live in, isn't it? So remember, folks, if you're in Oklahoma, better leave your harpoons at home. Moving on to number nine in Alabama, it's illegal to have an ice cream cone in your back pocket. Yes, you heard it right. This peculiar law dates back to the horse thieving days when mischievous thieves would lure horses away with the sweet treat. By keeping the ice cream cone in their back pocket, they could lead the horse away without physically stealing it. Imagine the scene, a sultry summer's day, a thief casually strolling down the street, a trail of horses following the irresistible scent of vanilla. Then, the bewildered owner would wake up to an empty stable, only to see their precious horse trotting away down the street, following a melting ice cream trail. The law, though seemingly absurd in today's context, was a serious countermeasure to the horse theft problem at the time. So next time you're in Alabama with an ice cream cone, remember to keep it up front. You don't want to be mistaken for a horse thief now, do you? At number eight, we have a law from Georgia where it's illegal to tie a giraffe to a telephone pole or street lamp. Now, you might be wondering just how many giraffes are wandering the streets of Georgia. Well, not as many as you'd think. This law, as obscure as it seems, is believed to have been enacted to prevent people from leaving their exotic pets unattended in public spaces, potentially causing havoc. Imagine the scenario, you're walking down Peachtree Street and there's a giraffe tied to a lamppost, casually munching on treetops. It's a sight that would either brighten your day or give you a real surprise. But on a serious note, this law serves as a reminder for pet owners, exotic or otherwise, to be responsible and considerate of public spaces and safety. And let's not forget the giraffes. They probably appreciate not being left tied up outside the grocery store. So if you're in Georgia, keep your giraffes untied. Our seventh spot goes to North Carolina, where it's illegal to use elephants to plow cotton fields. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's not a musical mishap. And you're right. But it's the backstory that hits a high note of hilarity. You see, in the late 19th century, a traveling circus made its way into North Carolina. The townsfolk were so taken with the elephants that a local farmer thought, hey, why not put these big guys to work in my cotton field? Well, it turns out elephants and cotton plants don't exactly harmonize. The ensuing chaos was a symphony of squashed plants and trampled crops. The town council quickly orchestrated a law to prevent such a catastrophe from happening again. And that's how we ended up with this peculiar prohibition. So, if you're in North Carolina and need some help in the field, remember elephants are off key. At number six, we have a law from Wisconsin where it's illegal to serve butter substitutes in prison. Now, this might seem a bit peculiar, but remember, we are talking about Wisconsin, the dairy capital of America, a place where people take their cheese and butter very seriously. This law was passed back in the early 1960s when margarine, the popular butter substitute, was deemed a threat to the dairy industry. So the state, in its infinite wisdom, decided to protect its dairy farmers by making it illegal to serve anything but real butter in public institutions, including prisons. Now. Imagine being a margarine-loving inmate in Wisconsin. You're stuck with real butter whether you like it or not and there's no escape. Talk about a dairy dilemma. But hey, when in Wisconsin, do as the Wisconsinites do. Embrace the dairy, enjoy the creamy, rich goodness of real butter. 
Our fifth spot goes to Ohio, where it's illegal to get a fish drunk. Yes, in Ohio, it's against the law to give alcohol to fish. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Who was the first person to think, I know what'll make this goldfish party really pop, some beer? This law, believed to have been enacted in the early 20th century, was likely put in place to prevent the potential harm to wildlife that could come from intoxicating substances entering the waterways. But in practice, it does leave us with an amusing mental image. Imagine a fish floating around in a fishbowl with a tiny cocktail glass, getting tipsy and causing underwater chaos. Or a group of fish having a wild underwater party complete with mini bottles of champagne and tiny little martini glasses. Just remember, while it's amusing to think about, it's not so funny in practice. So, in Ohio, keep your alcohol away from your fish. At number four, we have a law from Illinois where it's illegal to fall asleep in a cheese shop. Now, you might be wondering why anyone would want to nap amidst the aromatic allure of camembert and gouda. Well, the origins of this law are as cheesy as they come. Picture this. It's the late 19th century. Cheese shops are the go-to hangout spots. But with the rise of cheese connoisseurs, shop owners faced a unique challenge. Customers lured by the comforting scent of cheese would often drift off to sleep, leaving the shopkeepers in a pickle. Or should we say, in a cheese wheel. To tackle this, the state passed a law forbidding people from falling asleep in a cheese shop. Talk about a Gouda night's sleep being illegal. So next time you're in Illinois, remember this rule. No cheese dreams, please. Our third spot goes to Arizona, where donkeys can't sleep in bathtubs. Now, you might be thinking, who's trying to put a donkey in a bathtub in the first place? Well, the origin of this law is as peculiar as the law itself. Back in the 1920s, a local dam broke, causing a rancher's property to flood. His donkey, who had become accustomed to sleeping in an old, discarded bathtub, was washed a mile down the stream, still inside the tub. The townsfolk had to rescue the donkey, and it was such a public spectacle that legislation was passed to prevent a repeat of such an absurd situation. So, what's the takeaway here? If you're in Arizona, and you've got a donkey that likes to snooze in a tub, you might want to reconsider your pet's sleeping arrangements. Maybe a nice straw-filled barn would be more suitable and legal. So, in Arizona, keep your donkeys out of the tub. At number two, we have a law from Alaska where it's illegal to wake a sleeping bear to take a photo. Now, we don't know about you, but we're not exactly itching to rouse a snoozing grizzly for a quick selfie. It's a law that makes perfect sense when you consider the potential consequences. Picture this. You're in the Alaskan wilderness. You spot a sleeping bear and you think, hey, this would make a great Tinder profile picture. But the bear, rudely awakened, doesn't share your enthusiasm for social media. This law dates back to the early days of wildlife conservation efforts in Alaska. The state needed to protect its bear population, but also its citizens and tourists from their own, let's call it, adventurous behavior. But remember folks, while it's tempting to risk it for the gram, in Alaska, it's best to let sleeping bears lie. And finally, at number one, we have the law from Michigan where it's illegal to tie an alligator to a fire hydrant. Yes, you heard it right. This law, as bizarre as it sounds, has a bit of a backstory. Back in the day, when alligators were as common as squirrels in Michigan, they were often used as a deterrent for illegal parking. What better way to keep people from blocking a fire hydrant than a snarling alligator, right? But as you can imagine, this led to a few, let's say, heated situations. Firefighters rushing to put out a fire only to be greeted by a grumpy alligator. Not exactly the most ideal situation, hence the law was put in place. It's enough to make you wonder just how many alligators were tied to fire hydrants for this law to be enacted. So, next time you're in Michigan and you see a free fire hydrant, don't get any wild ideas. Well, there you have it, folks, the top 10 weirdest laws in the United States. From the mysterious ban on whaling in landlocked Oklahoma to the curious prohibition of pretzels in Illinois churches, these laws surely tickle the funny bone. So remember, when in doubt, always check the local laws. You never know when you might encounter a law about alligators or whales.